warm up the empanadas, get the coffee pots back out. It's Kai Ocho. The speedboats have arrived. Welcome to South Florida. Welcome to South Florida, the bottom of the clip of the gunshine state. Ha. What them boys still boring in that way? Big plate, get it for the 18 if you straight get K. And stop hating, it's the model of the state. Ha. A lot of face, but it's still real around here. That point talk, that can get you. Alright, we back, man. Party, man. Send up the balloons or something, man. We 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 got our guy. It's been a long time coming. Cristobal uh, bringing his talent to South Beach. I was trying to figure out how you say that in Spanish, but... Uh, man, man, he's not bringing it to South Beach, man. He's bringing it to Miami, Carl Gable. South Beach is on the other side that we don't go to. <laughs> who is we? People who stay in Miami. <laughs> That's a lie. They go down there all the time. <laughs> yeah, but Cristobal coming back to Miami, man, to get the guy we want. And now, it's a funny thing how you want somebody, and then once you get here, there's work that has to be done, dog. Um, how do you feel about the hire, big dog? I love it. It's not my first choice, but I love it. I love it. Um, he'll bring he'll bring the culture that we need at you want. Yeah, um, I think a lot of things come into place for him. I think a lot of support comes down for him from the administration because they're sitting there doing things different and outside of the program. Outside of the program, a lot of the past players I talked to, I mean, they want him. They yeah, want him. I think he he'll be a strong enough head figure to to be able to control that atmosphere. He used those guys as resources. His name is revered around college football right now. Like, people know about Cristobal. Right, so. right. Um, got to get off the coordinator, right? Got to get off the coordinator. Got to get off the coordinator. Got to put a staff together. And Miami's saying they're going to drop bags, right? So we can go get somebody like who? Yeah, them speedboats didn't even drop, man. Them, speed, them speedboats with the money in them, they can't. Right. We go get old Tom Herman or a must champ. Them my two names that I would go after. Yeah. I said it first. <laughs> <laughs> the Tom Herman. Uh, Tom Herman. Tom uh, Herman. Somebody, somebody, somebody like them. Yeah, we go yeah, see Tom somebody Herman like them. Yeah, coordinator. If the band's going to get dropped, right. Well, much shout out to your defensive coordinator. Um, then you cooking with grease. Oh, staff would look, had, had, the staff have never looked like that. Never. We've had great <laughs> staff, yeah. but they went on to be great guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The staff has never just, all right, started off with. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's one of the, that might be, if, 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 if they could pull that off, that'll be one of the top staffs in the nation. Right. You have a top defensive coordinator in Muschamp, you have a top right. offensive coordinator in Herman. Right. Like, that would be major. Right. So listen, we hold that administration foot to the fire because, I mean, it's just talk at this point yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah, them yeah. dropping these bags and about what they're doing and will do and wouldn't do. Um, but he definitely is in the house and, uh, he definitely is in the house, um, the type of offense has to kind of stay the same for TBD, or no? You think he'll flourish in another type of offense? No, he can, I mean, it can stay the same. Is it? Everybody's pretty much running almost similar offenses. Nobody's running a different offense where you have to completely change it and switch it over. So it's, uh -huh. it, it'll most likely stay the same. Yeah, everybody would run similar offenses? Yeah, everybody runs this RPO. Um, it's, it, all it is is different terminologies and stuff like that, man. That's, yeah. that's the only difference that you're going to have at different schools, different terminologies and probably different blocking scheme. That's it. Yeah. You think TBD and Jake being behind him and Jakari Brown coming, you think that, that, that kind of TBD, ACC rookie of the year, that kind of influences his decision? Yeah, I mean, I mean, why not they come to – they have a young team. You got an all-ACC freshman, rookie of the year, and TBD. You got all-ACC – and James Williams and Cam and, and you got these man you got a young team that you could come in and put a culture of winning behind and you could really do some some things winning that, that's one thing we don't talk about enough because it's been a long time since Miami consistently have done it crystal ball win here because I hear people say, I heard somebody say the other day he's Manny 2.0 and all this crazy mess. Well, okay, where, where they get that from? <laughs> because they, they, they jump right to his bad losses, right? They look at FIU and they're looking at the bad losses. Bad losses. Well, no, like, Chris Ball never oh, lost no FIU. 